Dora, let me book you. Dora, let me book you. Dora, let me book you. I beg. Dora, please. Friends. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AZ Neil Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. What a night it has been in the Big Brother Niger house. We witnessed the biggest heist ever in the history of Big Brother Niger. Yes, Neo, Ozo, um, V, and Nengi, they have just shown us that the Money High crew has nothing on them. Okay, comparing them to the Money Highs, I think, is the most adequate or the right thing to do. So, um, Ozo is actually Professor, and uh, Nengi is Tokyo. Then, um, what's his name? Neo is Berlin. And V is Nairobi. Yes, I think they fit perfectly to the money highest characters. So these people planned among themselves and then decided to hide all the pillows and duvets in the Big Brother Niger house. And the funny thing is they did it so smoothly and nobody caught them. Okay, so also V and Nengi pulled the whole distraction stunts made the other housemate to start playing a game in the garden so that nobody would enter inside. Neo entered inside as if he wanted to go to the restroom. So he now hid all the pillows and all the duvets under the beds. Yes. So um, I think when they came inside, I think it was Lucy. Lucy started crying and shouting. Not really crying. She was shouting, Biggie, Biggie, what have you done? And all that. Nengi came. And before you know it, everybody came. Dorothy and what's his name? Lacon, their characters. Before we could, we could even say Jack. These people have gone and brought winter coats. And Dorothy was like, winter is here. I'm like, hey, combination of money heist and game of truth. <laughs> it was really, really funny. But Dorothy is really smart. She kept hammering on the fact that it's new. That how can he be sweating that, that much? The fact that he came outside and said he went to the loo and everybody was like, why is he sweating? That it has to be new. She went, she turned, in fact, she really turned Dora the Explorer last night. <laughs> so it was really really fun and everything but at the end of the day i don't know how they who actually was the first person to discover it lucia almost got it but she was not like very um vigilant enough to actually see she actually opened that bed thing but she was not actually very vigilant to see it but i didn't know who actually found that because they went on a commercial break and when they now came back that was when we now saw that they found it even lacon tricky t and prince tried using reverse psychology to make Neo to confess, but for we are uh, Neo refused to confess. Ah ah, see, uh, Neo, hmm, well done, sir. Have you stolen before? You don't thief before? I think I should ask you this one when you come out. You don't thief before? Because for you to successfully have this kind of heist in Big Brother Niger house, well done. Even uh, some of them were like, Neo was working in collaboration with Big Brother. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Erica had to go to the heads of house room to check if theirs was there and then theirs was there. For me, if I was in that house and there was the duvet in the heads of house room and V's duvet was around, whoa, I would know it's not Big Brother. In my mind, I'm like, somebody in this place has done us, has run off streets. <laughs> Oh, I laughed. In fact, I started laughing from the um, arena games. When kid, where they had this arena game, so it was all about balloons. The first one, he had to like use inflate the balloons and use the air to push the party cups, those disposable cups, to the place that they wanted to be. The second one, you have to use the dart and um, heat on those balloon walls so that the balloon will pop. The third one, you have to take a balloon and walk through the balloon tunnel, making sure that your balloon doesn't burst. And the fourth one, which is like the funniest, that you have to like put those balloons in your two armpits and in between your legs and hop across the hall to the finish line. It was so, so funny. I think the funniest of them all has got to be Kidwire. Kidwire tried to hop in and hop in. The next thing, he just died. I'm like, ah, Oga, are you Nema? <laughs> <laughs> it was really, 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 really funny. They had their diary session yesterday. A lot of them talked about the whole incident with Lucy. 
you know and lucy also tried to explain her own angle which i kind of like understand you know other people try to also talk about it dorothy was like the most annoying thing here is they keep correcting Dor um lucy and she keeps doing the same thing over and over again it's kind of exhausting also was like the most annoying thing here is that um she kind of like has this thing in her head that everybody is against her um nengi was like you know she doesn't have an issue with lucy wanted to change the things but at the at the same time you know she would not let her personal feelings get in between the tasks and everything so yeah um they had their diary sessions and all that so moving on to something more fun they are still gonna be having fun today saturday you know in the big brother house when it's saturday it's time to party yes and um today they are gonna be partying with dj ky's joe <laughs> <laughs> I love 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 DJ K Wise. I've not met him in person. Um he was he works with I think Sound City Radio, if I'm not mistaken. I love his jams. Like whenever I tune into Sound City Radio, it's party after party with DJ K Wise. He brought the roof down last season when he came for the Big Brother Niger um party. And I'm sure he's gonna do the same thing this saturday i am so 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 ready to party i mean it's my birthday weekend so i got a party and the um the guest artist is t classic i really don't know him that much if you know him let me know his hit songs in the comment section yeah i could easily google but i just want you guys to you know let me know so um not just that so this party tonight is sponsored by gordon's dry gin uh-huh yes and they have special match or merch or merchandise for the big brother niger housemate like this one is for lecon and it has the icons on it this other one is for um dora and it has the explorers on it it's really really gonna be cool tonight talking about merchandise so um it looks like this season is gonna be a season of merch first of all we saw um the Dorothy's team that brought out their first merchandise, which is it has all the catchphrases that Dorothy normally say. There has the one, okay, the one that featured in Big Brother Niger House earlier, where somebody wore it to say a shout out to Dorothy, was the one that has uh, with my full chest. There's other ones like um, I'm all for that. There's another one. Um, What's the other one? God no go shame us and all that. Dorothy has a lot of catchphrases. There's even this one she said, she said Happy birthday, like bye or something like that it's not like happy birthday happy birthday it means something else you know so yeah and there is this one of um oh watoni even has has um it's called boot up boot up gang and all that the um the other day also released his own i think also and erica released theirs the same day flow it has um t-shirts it has shorts it has durags it has face caps yeah Ozo's own is called flow and then we have erica's now erica's own created a lot of birds because it has sweat um is it sweat pants yeah it has t-shirts it has track suits and all that it has hoodies and guess what it's sold out in less than two hours if i'm not mistaken that's like wow i think this season is gonna be a season of a lot of merch which is really really something you know it's something so talking about that let's move away from that a bit so um let's talk about one of the queens of much merch that came out with her own no leave no transfer merch and all that that is tacha so um something is happening to tacha's instagram account i don't understand tacha deleted almost all her pictures on instagram almost all her posts on instagram in fact right now she has only 15 posts remaining on instagram people of god what is happening to your titan queen what is happening to potakot first lady or potakot what am i saying ah god no go shame us potakot first girl abby 
first daughter yes how can i even forget yes what is happening to her instagram account okay i know she was shadow banned for some time then now the account has grown to 1000 1.4 or 1.6 million if i'm not mistaken now she has taken down most of her posts this is not the first time that tacha actually has done this if you guys can cast your mind back there was a time she just deleted all her posts and everything or maybe she moved them to the archive who knows so maybe she has something planned because already um she already has this announcement in her um titans collection there's, there's going to be a big announcement on this 18th of september so is has this got anything to do with that i do not know anyways let's keep our fingers crossed to find out if something you know has happened people of god please check out this beautiful picture of kaisha this girl fine die Look at how beautiful she is. You know, one thing about Kaisha, even in the house, you could see she's beautiful, but she wasn't really a makeup makeup person, you know. But here we have, you know, makeup everything done. You could see that Kaisha, true, true, she's a fine girl. Moving on, people of God, let's talk about CC. Yes, CC. So, um, you all know there's been this talk, even kid why himself talk about it he said he knows ebuka and true true a picture of him and ebuka and swanky jerry popped up you know on our timelines on instagram and all that so people kind of like started reacting so this person now said <clears throat> We know now they have a favorite. That is why Kayode always protects him. Kayode is like the guy in charge of the video directing or the show director or something like that. You know, that is why Kayode always protects him as MH. So this person now said, what about Sissy? That was Ebuka's ex. Now you all know back in Double Wahala season, they started a lot of conspiracy. I will not call it conspiracy theories or is it a conspiracy theory? Some said that um, Sissy was dating Ebuka. Some said that it was the some wife or something related to the wife okay you all know cc and ebuka's wife kind of like looks alike and also they share the same first name so yeah a lot of people were like um cc is ebuka's girlfriend that's why they can't evict her and all that you all remember it's it kind of like made a lot of buzz that time so this person now said what about cc that was ebuka's ex now um cc i love her love love her response so she now posted this on her instagram um story and she replied and said you say sk do i look like somebody that would date a buka and leave him or allow him to leave me lie lie we die here easy with the rumors eh john to real learn <laughs> i tried to do your but didn't i <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm with Cece on this one. I love, love, love the way this girl, this girl puts all these trolls in their place. Sometimes you just have to realize that a lot of people will say a lot of trashy things about you. Sometimes you just have to learn how to put them in their place. Sometimes, you know, being a nice person, a lot of people feel, oh, they can come to your page, they can come to your channel and kind of like drop some things that doesn't make sense. Sometimes I see them, you ignore and all that. But sometimes you gotta give them so that they know that you too, you can be in Zaboski. It's not every time you're a picture of love. You know, you know, you know. But I love the way she replied. Like, well, if I am dating a buka, do I look like somebody that will leave him? A fine, handsome young man like that, that is smart, that is, you know, he is handsome. The hand has something. You know what I mean? The hand has something that is smiling to the bank. And you think I'm going to leave him? lie lie even if he wants to leave i'm gonna stay for the both of us yes <laughs> anyways on that note i end this video hope you guys had fun I really did have fun um, watching the Big Brother housemates. I had so much fun with Neo. Neo can lie, Sha. See the way he lied and was, you know, keeping a very straight face. If it's me at some point, I'll just buckle under the whole questions, you know, that they were asking. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, you know what to do. Kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Till I come your way again, I remain your girl, Azina Williams. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Bye, guys.